let me just come back to the question of, you know, how much do you feel that progression-free survival in this setting is a valid or not substantial enough endpoint versus perhaps in, in another setting like small cell lung cancer where we don't have as many subsequent effective treatments? It's a great issue to discuss because we're using that endpoint more and more to define success with therapies. There was a really nice editorial uh, that I read recently that talked about, uh, is progression-free survival simply something we can measure? Is it really meaningful? We can measure it, but does that make it meaningful? And what gives it meaning is whether patients, whether it translates to patients living longer and whether it translates to fewer cancer-related complications, fewer hospitalizations, uh, fewer symptoms of cancer. So do people feel better? Uh, are they more functional? Um, do they have fewer difficulties from their cancer? And that's where it's especially difficult to know. I think that there are some circumstances where the magnitude is so great that common sense would tell you that it probably is benefiting patients. Um, if you can prolong something by a year, just our personal experience tells us that patients have symptoms of cancer. And if you can put off that growth of cancer for a year with acceptable side effects to the patient, that uh, even though it's difficult to measure, I think we can agree that's meaningful. I think the more difficult challenge, though, is many of our trials show a progression-free survival of six weeks or eight weeks with some added toxicities, inevitably added what we call adverse events. And that's where I think um, I, don't, I don't find it that meaningful. I think that's a great point that uh, you know, is, is definitely as we consider is progression-free survival a valuable surrogate for the overall survival we all want to attain there's a big difference between the progression-free survival benefit we've seen with targeted therapies in the right targeted population. And I had brought up when I discussed these, the, this abstract that we don't necessarily need, didn't need to see an overall survival benefit yet with drugs like Zalcori, which was approved based on earlier endpoints. I don't think that was a mistake because it was so overwhelmingly beneficial that we don't necessarily need a read, readout for two years later to confirm what we see with our own eyes. I, but very often, progression-free survival is not remotely of that magnitude. And when you're talking about differences in weeks, it's nebulous at best and just a different question, I think.